bulk material. As popular and economical as the standard bulk bag is for handling dry granular material, its use is limited to only those materials that have good flow characteristics. As a result, the costly and wasteful practice of using 50 and 100 pound paper bags remain the only option for most other applications until now. Introducing our Series D model. Immediately, you'll notice that the bag does not need to be lifted into position with a high overhead crane structure. From filling to unloading, the bag never leaves the pallet. The other most noticeable difference from other systems is the addition of an expandable sidewall that is retained in the pleated area on the front of the bag. The Big Mouth's improved bag design allows safe, quick, and easy setup for discharging. The operator releases the spout section of the bag from its stowed position and places the outlet over the hopper's inlet flange. The hopper can be designed to interface with all types of conventional feeding and conveying equipment. As shown in the video, an inclined screw conveyor is used. When the spout is connected, the operator activates the expandable air seal to provide a secure connection. With the system ready for discharge, the volume of the bag is increased by releasing the restraint fasteners that hold the sidewall pleat. Instantly, the compaction of the material in the bag is reduced. As the material begins flowing to the hopper of the unloader, the operator turns on the probe monitor for automatic operation. The unrestricted side flow pattern, expandable bag size, and large spout opening all work together to allow the material to flow freely to the unloader's discharge outlet. To ensure that a constant supply of material is available to your process equipment and no interruption in flow occurs, the probe, as shown by the green arrow, senses a low-level condition in the hopper and automatically inclines the unloader platform. As shown in a time-lapse sequence, the unloader platform will continue inclining, as required, until all of the contents in the bag are dumped and emptied into the hopper. Because there is very little head pressure over the hopper and in the spout area of the bag, the material, even though it may be compacted, rolls and tumbles freely without any restriction. The discharge rate is dependent solely on how fast the feeder or conveying equipment can draw off the material. If discharging into a mixer or other open hopper, the entire load can be dumped in less than a minute. Once the spout is released from the inflatable seal on the hopper, the restraint fasteners are refastened and the bag is folded up and returned for another cycle. Flexair's standard bag is made of a 22 ounce PVC coated polyester fabric. The base weave of the fabric is woven in a ripstop scrim design with a tensile strength of approximately 400 pounds per inch.
contents has formed an almost solid mass. Once the material begins to fracture and break apart, it starts to return to its original powder state. Our Big Mouth Series I system functions in much the same way. It gently fractures the material, and because it dispenses only a small amount at a time, under little or no head pressure, the material returns to a flowable state. The demonstration you are about to see is with this material under the same conditions. Although all Big Mouth systems are based on the expandable sidewall and side discharge design, many of the components of the system can be enhanced for each application. As shown, the Series I system features a much larger hopper and inlet opening. Also incorporated into the design is a screw feeder that helps break up lumps as well as provide a controlled feed rate of the material. Even with these changes, the setup is virtually the same. Once the spout of the bag is positioned around the expandable inlet flange and the operator activates the seal control, a strong and dust-tight connection is maintained. With the spout securely connected, the air hose is then connected to the back of the Series I bag. Next, the low-level probe, located in the hopper, is turned on. Just as in the standard bulk bag, the material in the bag has formed an almost solid mass. Before the material is discharged, however, we'd like to point out that our demonstrator unloader, as shown by the green arrows, is equipped with a forward and rear outlet. For this demonstration, we are discharging the material out of the rear outlet and into an inclined screw conveyor. What differentiates Series I from the Series D model is the addition of an inflatable liner in the Series I bag. As the inflatable liner in the bag expands, its gentle movement begins to break up and fracture the compacted material. The material continues to break apart as it falls into the hopper of the unloader. Once the probe is satisfied that the hopper is full, inflation stops until the probe senses another low-level condition. The inflation cycle is repeated automatically until the bag is empty. Please pay particular attention to the rear of the bag near the green arrow and you will be able to see the bag inflate. For demonstration purposes, the spout section of the bag is removed to show the operation of the screw and probe extension in the hopper. Notice that the material has returned to a powder-like and flowable condition. When all of the material has been emptied from the bag, the automatic control system shuts off in preparation for the next load. For implant use only, a rigid shell which maintains the bag in an open position is available. When returning the bag to the original vendor for refilling, the bag collapses to less than 5% of its open size. For dusty applications, a filter vent sock is located on the top of the bag.